Hey there, good afternoon Libra and welcome to your October love relationship reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. My name is Carrie, and I'm excited to have you here. Excited to be sharing this reading with you. So I wanted to do something extra this month for all the zodiac signs. So I'm putting together a relationship love reading, uh, which I'm gonna start with you today, Libra, since to, this month is your birthday month. So happy birthday to all of our beautiful Libras out there in the world. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull three energies an energy for you, an energy for the other person, and an energy for the relationship. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about those energies, and then I'm gonna pull some clarifying energies to, to help us clarify and gain a better understanding of exactly what's going on. So, Libra, if you're, if you're tuned into this reading, right? For many of you, what this reading, if the reading is resonating, if the energies are resonating with you, what you may find is this may provide you validation, right? Validation for what you know and understand to be taking place right now. And for others, it may help you see something that you're not aware of, that you're not seeing, possibly within yourself or possibly within the other person. Uh, you know, and then we're gonna pull an energy for the overall for the overall relationship. So keep in mind. This reading can be for a romantic connection in your life. It, it's going to represent an important energy in your life. So it can be a lover, a romantic lover. It doesn't have to be though. You know, it can be a friendship. It can be a, a relationship at work, but it's going to serve as an important energy in your life right now. So, and keep in mind, you know, your energy may be their energy and vice versa. So it's hard to hit it perfect every time. It's going to be different for each and every one of us. So Libra, let's get started here. The first thing that I want to do Let's take a drink. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull an activation energy for you to take us into your tarot reading. We just wanna see what activation energy comes out for you to be aware of that pertains to uh, helping you, being beneficial to know of in this specific relationship. I pre-shuffled all my decks, but I like to just give them one more shuffle. Okay, beautiful. All right, so this is a perfect energy when it comes to relationships. It comes to us as harmony. So let me read out loud to you about this. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. All right, so this is about harmony not just harmony in your relationships in your life, but this is finding that harmony, that connection with nature. You know, and what I mean by that connection is maybe coming to the realization, right? That all of us, every every single one of us here on this planet, we're all connected energetically, right? And it's not just us, but energetically, we're connected to everything else that exists here, right? Because everything on planet Earth consists of an energy. So this is about finding that harmony, that, that balance, right? It, it kind of reminds me of the Empress energy. Uh, you know, recognizing, feeling your value, feeling your worth. This is just a beautiful energy right, for both of you. All right, Libra, let's pull a few tarot cards for you guys now. Let's see what's going on in your world. So this first energy that I'm gonna draw is gonna be an energy representing your energy. It may be their energy, just keep that in mind. Okay, so Libra, your energy comes to us as just breathe. So this is equivalent to the Four of Swords. Uh, this is a good energy, right? This is about, I mean, really, harmony. You know, I feel like Libra, I feel like many of you, you're, in a, you're probably in a real good place right now, a real good energy. Um, if not, you're being encouraged, right, to just breathe. What does this mean exactly? It means, you know, taking a rest, right? If we're so action and oriented and driven, you know, to pull back a little bit, maybe take our foot off the gas pedal a little bit and just breathe, right? Just breathe and allow things to settle. Let's pull another energy for them and see what's going on with them real quick. Okay, Libra, here we have their energy. It's coming to us as moving on. So don't get, don't get panicked. It doesn't necessarily mean they're moving on from you. Uh, that may be the case for some, but I don't, I'm not really feeling that very strong. 
Uh, but what they're what he's in the process of doing, he's walking on the beach. He's walking in the sand. Notice that he's not in the water. You know, the water represents a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings. So I feel like, you know, the other person's probably walking away from maybe some heavy feelings and some heavy emotions. No worries, Libra, we're gonna get some clarification on these energies. Now let's pull another energy for the overall relationship. All right, Libra, we've got good news for you. Okay, so the overall energy represented as the overall relationship comes to us as love, right? So beautiful energy. So this is about a connection, right? This is about two people that rely upon one another, right? So this can be a soulmate kind of connection. It may be romantic for some. It doesn't have to be. You know, the, this is about a connection in your life where two people trust each other. I mean, she trusts him because she's holding his hands and she's leaning back and he trusts her because he's doing the same thing, right? So they know that they have each other. How do they know that? Because of all this growth, right? They've done the work. So, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, this is somebody that, that, that you know in your life. This is somebody that you've been investing your energy into and they've been investing their energy in you. All right, Libra, I'm really liking your reading so far here. Let's get some clarification now. Tell us a little bit about Just Breathe. Tell us about just breathe for the Libra. Help us better understand it. All right, Libra, we got a few energies that came out here for us. Okay, so we have two energies that just came out. This is where we're getting our clarification on just breathe. So this is equivalent to the Four of Swords. Yeah, this is about literally taking your foot off the gas pedal, right? Why are we doing that? Here we have the unknown card that showed up, right? So the unknown card, it represents that very thing. She's looking at this crystal ball, right? Trying to get an idea to see what, you know, how things look moving forward, right? But she's unable to because it's a little bit clouded right now coming in right next to it we have your energy showing up for us right so i feel like this is maybe definitely libra's energy here uh but this is representing fairness balance um you know some of you may feel a little bit out of balance right now because maybe you're looking at you're looking at this relationship and you're wanting to see what is the potential right how do things look moving forward well, for many of you, it's right here, right? Beautiful energy, Gemini's energy. So some of you may be connected to a Gemini, you know. But this is about this is about maintaining the balance, right? So Libra, right? If you're if you're focusing those energies on looking at trying to see what things look like ahead, it's okay to wonder. But when it comes to when we're unable to see what's ahead and it affects us. You know, it lowers our vibration. It causes us to, to fall a little bit out of balance, right? So this is about getting balance back into your life. And the balance comes when you're able to take your foot off the gas pedal, right? And for many of you, it's connected to wanting to see exactly what things look like moving ahead. I get it, I do, you know? We live in a world of unpredictability and all of us are trying to predict our tomorrows. All right, Libra, tell us about moving on. Tell us about moving on to them. Why is moving on showing up? Okay, so Libra, we have two energies that came out. We're getting clarification on moving on. So this is representing their energy. And I asked, what exactly are they moving on from? first card that came out, right? They're moving on from fear, coming to us as the Nine of Swords. Uh, you know, this is an elevated sense of fear, um, you know, to the point where, you know, maybe causing, you know, a little restlessness at night, maybe not sleeping as well because, could be because of anxieties. Um, you know, the Eight of Swords, she's wearing a blindfold, so she's fearful of the things that she's unable to see, but this is kind of a, a graduated, graduated version of that. We have eight swords that are in the ground. The Ninth Sword lays right here. 
this bird, this raven, is waiting for her to pick up the sword and to stick it in the ground, right? That's what allows this energy to pass. So Libra, I feel like this is a great thing because this is representing the energy of what they're moving away from, right? So they're moving away from some type of some type of fear in their life. And then coming in next, we have the Page of Pentacles, right? Which is taking a leap of faith. You know, she's sitting in this tree playing her mandolin, hoping to play it well enough to earn a pentacle. And you can see she's done that very thing, right? So for those, you know, that are in a relationship where, you know, your person is, is moving on from the energy of fear, you know, it's letting them know you have the ability to do this. And many of them have already started this because this is an action. This is a call to action card. Uh, so I feel like that is the case. I feel like, you know, for many of you, this is something that your person is already doing, right? They're in the process of walking away from the fear, you know, and the fear can be of a lot of things. It could be fear about finances. It could be fear about living arrangements. It could be fear about commitment. Uh, you know, it, it, it differs. Uh, for those where it's a work-related energy, it could be fear about making a change at work. All right, tell us about love for Libra. Tell us about love. about love for Libra. Okay, we just got one energy. Tell us about love for Libra. So Libra, I think I have this here. This is where we're getting our clarification, right? This is on the this is on the overall energy for the relationship. Beautiful energy. It's about connection to people coming together, to people coming together because you've done the work. We have two great energies that are clarifying this for us, right? The first energy that we have is a strength card, representing the energy of Leo. So some of you may be connected to a Leo. You know, but this is about taking that taking that leap of faith. You're looking at the figure on the card, she's sitting on this hill with a lion, right? She has the courage to reach down and to cup the chin of the lion, right? So she's taking that chance, you know, taking the chance. And when she takes that chance, right, it lets her know, right, that she, it allows her to feel that energy of courage, right? Because I did it. I, I, I took a risk. I came through and I did it. So. Uh, a beautiful energy to, to have coming up, you know, showing up and clarifying this love energy, energy of Gemini once again. Now attached to this, we have the Seven of Cups, right? And the Seven of Cups represents the energy of having all kinds of choices, right? Moving forward. Uh, and, and these are choices that are connected to the relationship. And the reason I feel like this is maybe showing up, Libra, is because of this unknown card, you know, of, of really wanting to know what things look like ahead, what, what does the future look like, but things being clouded, unable to see it. You're being assured right here, right? That moving forward, there are gonna be all types of choices, right? There, so you're not gonna feel that energy of, of restriction. All right, Libra, wow. And here we have the activation energy of harmony taking us into your reading, right? So this is what you're wanting to, to manifest. Uh, Libra, I hope that this reading resonated with all of you. I hope that you're open and receptive to hearing the messages that were meant for you to hear. I hope that this reading is my intention, right? My hope, my prayer that this reading helps you in your relationships in your life, whether it's a key relationship right now or a different relationship. Uh, yeah, wanna, wanna see if we can raise your vibration to see if we can help the two of you better understand one another to bring you together, right? Because we're all about creating and manifesting love on this channel, or at least I am. So that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to create here. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to connect with all of you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you liked it, and I hope you're, you're able to subscribe. Okay, Libra, wishing you the very best in the month of October. Thanks again.